to abide in Christ means to allow his word to fill our mind. Uh, listen, we go by so many times in life trying to figure things out on our own. That, I don't know about you, that gets exhausting after a while just to try to figure things out on my own. Yeah. Been there. I don't know if you've been there. But he wants to allow his word, the Bible, his words to us when we're praying, to fill our mind. If we could start in our mind, oh my goodness, transformation takes place in such a big way. He says in John 15, 7, if you abide in me and my words abide in you. We've got to be tethered to this thing called the word. If my words or to abide in you, you, you need to abide in me. But to have what's written in here to be filling our minds. I believe with all of my heart, the more we can saturate ourselves in God's word for us, and it permeates our mind, if it transforms how we think, if it transforms how we go about living our life based on being saturated in what he has for us, we'll never have to worry about what's on the outside looking good because I guarantee you, when you are squeezed and whatever is going to come out of you, if this comes out of you from what you have going on in here, you're going to look good on the outside. You'll never have to put up a front in front of somebody because Allowing what's in here to be in here will produce so much fruit in our life. Produce so much fruit. Paul puts it this way in Colossians 3.16. He says, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, abundantly. That means abundantly. The fullness of everything. Let this word of God dwell in you. He says, to follow it up, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom. I can't go to my brother or sister in, in God and, and try to teach you, admonish you, to tell you, to correct you and all that if I am not myself having this dwell in me abundantly. So to abide in Christ means to allow his word to fill our mind. So I'm going to ask you to take an inventory check right now, maybe in your life. How much, just honestly, how much is the Word of God in my mind? When a situation comes up where you're financially in a dire strait, does the Word that when He clothes the lilies of the field and feeds the birds of the air so much that you don't have to worry about Him taking care of, is that what comes out of your mind? Or does fear come out of your mind? anxiety come out of your mind. You see, there's certain things that God has told us in here that if we can get them in our mind when we're squeezed, we find out that we're actually abiding in him. 